Hey guys, today I'm doing something really exciting. I'm dyeing my hair. Well, kind of. It's gonna be temporary. So it's not like super serious or anything. But I'm super pumped. Um, I can't wait to do it. It is called Kristen S. Rose Gold Temporary Tint for Pre-Lightened or Highlighted Blonde Hair Temporary Toning Instant Blush Color in Shower Application. So basically, I'm gonna take this, which honestly my hair is quite cool toned, as you can tell, like I use purple shampoo, so it's kind of like cool toned, but I want it to be a little bit more warm toned, not yellow, cause that's gross. Um, and I'm gonna make it rose gold, and I'm so, 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 so excited. I really hope this works out well, and I'm gonna take you guys along with me. I don't know if it's as good as it sounds. Um, I've heard good things, I've heard mixed reviews, and I wanted to show you guys exactly how it works on someone with really light hair. Um, let me take my hair out of the bun so you guys can see it. My hair's kind of a wreck. It's very messy. I still got a bun. I need to wash it, which is what I'm about to do. Um, my roots are always just gonna be a little bit darker, a little bit more brassy than the rest of my head, I think. But um, this is my hair color. <laughs> it's a very light. With the, it's a very light blonde. Um, really light. It's basically white, honestly. So what this is gonna do to my hair is gonna be really exciting. So stay tuned. So this is an in-shower application, um, and I'm actually gonna shower, so I really can't kind of take you guys along in there in with me, but I'll show you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna shampoo my hair, and then I'm gonna like, you know, just really brush the spray all the way through it, and then condition it like it says in the instructions on the bottle. Um, and I want it to be damp, so I'll probably towel dry it before I put the product in and leave it in for about two minutes. Um, yeah, because I want it to be damp, but not too wet because it's going to not soak it up enough. And then if it's too dry, it's going to soak up way too much. So, let's see how this goes. Hey guys, so I'm out of the shower. Um, this is such a weird video. I've never like filmed a video where like I'm in a towel. Um, anyway, I'm just going to towel dry my hair just a little bit, you know, not too much. My hair is probably pretty porous because it has been bleached and treated before quite a bit <laughs> so hair my hair is really long and thick so this might be a little bit of a trouble i'm gonna brush out this side do, 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 do. okay now you have your brushed out hair and we're gonna take this and just okay let me read the instructions one more time make sure i do this right i've always wanted to try rose gold hair. That's what's so fun about having blonde hair is you can like tone it so that it's cool. You can make it ashy. You can make it honey blonde, champagne blonde, whatever it is. The kind of blonde you're feeling, you want, you could do it, you know? I don't want to like not see any results, but I don't want to have it too crazy. Okay, this is, this feels perfect. It's like definitely damp. Oh my God. You can see it. And it's like definitely pink, like you can see it going on to my hair. Oh god. I'm not sure if I'm... I don't like know if it's like a right or... Oh, you can see it getting on my skin. Like I definitely like you can see that like immediately. Oh! <coughs> oh. I'm just gonna close my eyes and... Does it smell good? Would say it doesn't smell amazing. I feel like I'm doing this wrong. Doing nice. I got some on my face, it's cool. Okay. I'm gonna like, oh, okay, yes. Yeah. Can you tell, like, you can straight up see it already. I'm gonna like flip my head over and like get it some more everywhere else and I'm gonna let it sit for two minutes and then hop back in the shower and rinse it out. Okay, so I just rinsed it out and like conditioned it and everything. Honestly, I didn't like, it doesn't seem like really pink or rose goldy at all right now, but I think it's just cause it's wet. So I'll let you guys know when it's dry what it looks like. Okay, so I just towel dried it and I think you can kind of see, I don't know if it's good in this light, but it is somewhat pinkish, more definitely more warm than it was before. So I'm excited to see what it looks like. You can really see some pink right here. Let's go see what it looks like. I'm not done blow drying it. I don't know if y'all can see it even, but it's very subtle right now. Um, let me see. Do you see the soft pink? 
If I move it, I think you can see it more like in my ends, especially. Like when I, you see that like glint right there? So I'm not blend, done blow drying it. And then when I'm done blow drying it though, also I'm gonna like curl it because you can always see stuff like this a lot better when you curl it. But yeah, so far it's just a really pretty soft, soft, soft pink, like very pastel. Um, I think that is, yeah, looks really good so far though, I think. It really goes back and forth between being able to see it like so much. And it's kind of like, it's like flashes pink. It's not like, like if you kind of looked at me off the street, like even right now, you know, you can see it a lot better right now. Like see the ends? Like this is definitely rose gold. It's so pretty, I think. It's like millennial pink, but for hair. So fun, I love being blonde. because so you can like mix in like all kinds of colors with it and make it fun and interesting or whatever. But um, yeah, I'm gonna curl it and that I think will make it look even better. It's all dry now. Oh, look at that. Yes. So this is the final result. I'm trying to show it like all lightings, you know, so y'all can really see what you end up with. In some lighting, it looks like so pinkish, like still really subtle, still very pastel, which I love. But in some lighting, it's like it looks normal blonde. So it's very interesting. Keep that in mind. But wow, look at that. You can definitely, it definitely looks better um, when you curl it, I think, personally. The ends are pinker for me. <laughs> I think that's because um, um, my ends are more porous because they're older hair. They've been treated more, which means like it's a little bit rougher down there so it absorbs the color better. But I think it's really pretty. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, um, and I'll link the product down below. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more stuff like this, you want to, you know, hang out with me more, definitely hit that subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up, and leave a comment below. Bye, guys. Okay, so I waited until the next day, and this is what it looks like in natural lighting, because I know it was, like, hard to tell, like, all the fluorescent lights and the dark lights and stuff, but this is it. I think it's super fun, super pretty. It's like cotton candy. Um, it's like really, really light, like not really noticeable. And I really like that actually. Cause I think it's like wearable. Like I can kind of wear it and I think still have like, like a job, like not like a serious job, but like a, you know, like retail or like restaurant business, which is what I'm in. So this is fine. And yeah, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you found it helpful. Bye.